Alright guys, I am back and today I'm going to show you how to do the saving and loading of the options. Um, so at the moment there should be an option save and we are going to open that up and create all the variables and save them and load them as they, uh, as they need to be used. Um, I'm a little bit, it's Monday. <laughs> So I totally got a case of the Mondays right now. Um, so don't mind the way I am right now, I guess. It's just, you know, it's been a busy day. Uh, so open up the options save, and then we're going to go over to our game mechanics folder, and we're going to open up our, our uh, player controller we made. Okay, so now in our variables, we have our video setting variables. We are going to create a variable for each one of these in option save. So now, uh, no, you still can't shift select these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to push it against this side of my screen. I'm going to push this against this side of my screen. So what we can actually do is drag and drop these. Oops, I don't want to edit it. I want to drag it in here. Why is it? it? Yeah. It's not doing it. Interesting. Okay, well, let's do it manually. You, there was a point in time, I don't know which update I was running, but you could just drag and drop these in there and it would automatically create them. But, anyway, so it looks like we're going to have to do this. So, um, I'm going to pause the video here, and all you got to do is copy each one of these variables and set them in your saves. So, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, now we got all these saved here. So uh, the next thing we are going to do is I'm going to put these windows back together here. And uh, now we got to actually get them to save and load. But we're going to do this all in the player controller blueprint here. So we got off the event begin play, we have our option save handler. Now we're going to open up that function and once it's loaded, we're going to set this variable so now we can actually take this, pull every one of these variables out, and uh, set them accordingly. So that's what we are going to do. But I am going to create another function for it. And I'm going to call this uh, load options. Okay. So I'm going to get the option save. And now we're going to get brightness, or we're going to, yeah, get, because we're loading. We're going to get view distance, resolution, anti-aliasing, post-processing. Shadow quality and effects quality. Now we are going to set them. Now, this actually is really easy to do. I'm just going to line these all up nicely so they're pretty because once I get rolling these all together here, it's going to get jumbled up. I'm going to make them nice, like that. Now I'm going to get brightness, drag it and drop it. View distance. Resolution. Anti-aliasing. Post-processing. Shadow quality. Effects quality. And then we're going to string them all together. Okay, compile. Now on the load as well, 
we are going to call every one of those functions here uh, right here so just every single one of these okay Now we got every one of those functions. We pulled the variables out of the save, set the player controller options variables, and then we're calling all the functions to actually adjust the settings. So now on the end here, I'm going to add a return node. Okay, compile, save. Now we're going to go back into our options save handler. And on the true load slot, uh, make sure it's option save, set this variable we're going to call this new load options function. Okay? Compile save. And that is basically all we need to do. So what else we are going to do is we're going to go into our actual video options. And we're going to look we're going to set these uh, sliders according to the options that are loaded and that's actually not that hard either okay so here's all the sliders now basically we just got to call each slider and change the value on them so what we're gonna do is on the event construct we're gonna do that okay so now we got our controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the load options, same as here. Load options, loads options settings. Okay. So we're going to take each one of these. So we're going to want the controller. Okay. So now we're going to drag this off and we're going to go to value. Set value. Now we can make this a few times. Just go like this. string all these together okay now we're gonna get our controller actually I'm gonna move this up because this is gonna get ugly yeah I guess it's kind of inev inevitable will uh, it's gonna be ugly anyways so um, so now we need anti-aliasing We are going to need uh, brightness. Okay, we're just gonna get these all wired up too here. Uh, so we got anti-aliasing, we got brightness, 
we need uh, effects quality. Post-processing. Um, uh, resolution. Okay, so that's good. Now we're actually gonna, I'm gonna put a return node on the end of this. Okay, compile, save. Now if we, uh, we need a way to save them. So actually let's go back into our player controller. So game mechanics, player controller. Okay, so now we need to save them. So let's create that's uh, option save handler, yada yada yada, event graph. Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, collapse these nodes. I'm going to call this set options. Okay, I'm going to drag this up, and this is just to clean everything up. And now with the new 416 and higher, it doesn't, once you double click on it, it doesn't pull everything out and mess with your. Uh, your grid and overlap everything so yeah it actually it works really good um, so now I'm gonna close this so now we have on oh, damn it um, we need to find that event graph event graph event graph event graph I just lost the event graph <laughs> right there okay okay so now we need to save. So I'm going to create a custom save or a custom uh, event. I'm going to say save options. Okay. Actually, don't. I'm going to do it in the set options thing here. Save options. Save options. Why is it being a piece of crap for me? Um, okay, so now basically we got to get all of those variables again. So we're going to take our, our uh, save, okay, and now we are going to go to set all of these variables. So we need brightness. We're going to set brightness. Then we need view distance. Set view distance. Then we need resolution. Set resolution. Line these up so they're nice and pretty. Uh, anti aliasing. And we need post processing. We need shadow quality now. And effects quality. Okay. So now we just need to tie them all together here. So we got brightness to brightness, view distance, resolution scale, anti aliasing, post processing, shadow quality, effects quality. Now we're going to go like this. We're going to wire all these together here. And then we're going to go like, 
now we're going to take our option save, save game to slot, and we're going to name this options, compile, and off here we're going to branch it. And we're going to print string, and we're going to say options save successful. And since it's a good thing, I'm going to put it green, and probably about five seconds. Now we just need to wire that to the bottom one. Now I'm going to compile, save. Now in our video handler over here, I will uh, uh, create a button actually. That's not a bad idea. Button. I'm going to put it uh, probably right here. And I'm going to bottom, and I'm going to to the right. And I'm going to add text to that button. Okay. So text block and save settings or save video settings. Okay. And I'm going to make this button probably green. Seems to be a good color. Color and opacity. Oh, that's the, that's the letter. Uh, let's set the background. There we go. Let's take out the red. Make her a little invisible. Okay. Now I'm going to change the style to image. Just because I like the faded edges. Compile, save. Now we got to do it on click. On clicked. Okay, we're going to get our controller, and then we're going to say save options. Okay, compile, save. Now, <coughs> test her out. So we're going to go to our options, we're going to go to our video settings, our brightness is really low right now. So we're going to go like this, view distance. Resolution, let's turn that up. Anti aliasing, uh, I don't need that. Post processing, don't need that either. I don't have a post processing volume, so it's just screwing with everything here. Um, shadow quality, let's screw it. Let's turn it to about here. Effects quality, I don't have any particle effects, but we'll click our video settings. Option save back quit okay so now if we go back to play options video oh I didn't actually do it I wonder why so I'm gonna go back to quit here let's find out what's going on uh, we are definitely getting our controller oh right okay that's why we didn't put our load option settings in here okay Boom! Compile, save. Now if we play options, video. Now our settings are all quite PG. <laughs> so let's let's play with it a little bit here. Let's turn brightness down to about here. Let's uh, leave her back. We'll save these settings back. Quit. Now if we hit play, go back to our options, video options, and they're back to the just the way they are and actually it's loading it right as soon as you hit play on the game which is what we want we don't want it in the main menu itself because the main menu is fired after the game is loaded so you want your settings and everything loaded as the game's loading not not uh, the other way around see the way the load sequence usually happens is it'll load your level find your spawn point or sorry it starts with your player controller loads the level 
and then finds your spawn point, loads your character, and then loads your UI. So if we bring the options, if we get her right off the hop here, you're golden. So I'm gonna I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go back and just reset my settings here, just because I like to do shit like that. Mind my French. It's Monday. I'm just not in the right mind right now. Um, I'm gonna turn my brightness up to about here. I'm gonna turn my view distance up to about here. How come my view distance was buried down to the nothing? So I'm gonna turn my full resolution. Why not? Why not? Shadow quality. Okay, save settings back. I'm kind of curious about that uh, view distance uh, being zeroed out. I have a feeling I missed it. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to load my options again. I'm going to load my video options. View distance went back to nothing. So something is missing here. So let's find loads options. Do I have view distance? Do I have view distance? I do not have view distance in this lineup, so that's a quick fix. We're going to do this. We're going to set the value again on view distance. Set value. Okay. We're going to move that here. And we're going to go here. And now we need our view distance from here. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty simple way. So we're going to get view distance and we're going to set this one. I'm going to compile, save, play, options, video options. Now our view distance is right. Perfect. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That sums up the options tutorial video. And I appreciate the following along this. If you want to see more videos, I am trying to be a little more consistent in making tutorial videos for you guys. Check out my other playlists. Um, later on in this playlist, I'm going to cover uh, a pause menu, which opens this options menu. Same basic idea as the main menu. Um, I'll probably get into a lobby as well, a uh, server finder and a server creator, and get into a little bit of networking UI. Uh, so totally follow that uh, subscribe button. Uh, smash it that like button and hit the little bell and follow me along here appreciate every sub I appreciate you guys thanks for watching talk to you later